Greetings, Pastor Mike here from Community Congregational Church, and as promised, I'm going to do some video, the next next several videos uh, on location around Southern Pines, North Carolina, so you can see where I live. This is Reservoir Park, uh, so take a, we're going to do a lesson here, but take a quick look at the reservoir. Uh, you might be able to see there's a paddle border behind me on the water. There's a, about a two-mile trail around the reservoir. There's a disc golf course. There's picnic pavilions. It's just a great great place to hang out, take a hike. Um, we're going to do a lesson though today about ripples on the water. That's the one I told you yesterday that I was going to piggyback off of. So there's a powerful lesson to be learned there. And we're, we'll, let's take a closer look. I don't know about you, but it's fascinating to watch the effect of a pebble or a, a rock thrown into the water. The, the rings move out from the point of impact and no matter how small a little splash that is they say that the ripples are felt on the other side of a body of water even if we're talking about a large body of water. We saw the splash the ripples went out now we can't see them and the wind works against them the uh, it gets to a point where we don't see the effect at all it just kind of goes away but it's there. We feel we can't do anything to change the world. But we need to remember that all it takes to change the world is to create that ripple. And we can do that by one act of kindness. I love the phrase random act of kindness. And I really do look to do those because it's a lot of fun, first of all. And you really make somebody's day. And it's exactly what I'm talking about here, making a ripple effect. My heart breaks for the state of our nation right now with all the unrest and uh, if, if we could all just take this message to heart and do something, you know, individually we probably can't clear up the mess and change the world, but if we started to be kind to one another, it would ripple and hopefully the person we were kind to then because of the mood we put them in is kind to someone else and before you know it we will have changed the world. Scientists call this the butterfly effect, the, or the ripple effect, that, that uh, a butterfly's flapping its wings uh, is felt around the world. And you, we could argue all day long whether or not that's true or, uh, or not, but the bottom line is let's be kind to one another. Um, let's look for ways to be kind to one another. And let's do that regardless of what someone looks like or what they think. We don't have to agree with them on anything but we can still be kind. We can still treat each other with love. That's what we're called to do as Christians. I had a friend one time that said, how hard could Christianity be? We're asked to love one another. So let's love one another. And let's not have that depend on the color of someone's skin or what they believe. Uh, we don't, again, we don't have to agree with them on anything, but we can still be kind. And we can still treat each other as human beings. Because we, how many times have we said it? We're all in this together. That's so true. And God's Word talks about all. It doesn't say some. It doesn't, it doesn't differentiate all. We're all in this together. Let, let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the beauty that surrounds us. Thank you for that honking goose uh, interrupting the video. Uh, we just praise you for the beauty that surrounds us. And Lord, we ask you to help us. Help us to treat one another hu humanly. Help us to love one another, to be kind to one another. Uh, and in doing so, we'll cause a ripple that will indeed change the world. And we thank you for that, and we praise you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Hang in there, everybody. Uh, be safe, be healthy, be kind. I'm going to add that now from now on. <laughs> but uh, love you.